What's up guys? This is Mad Squash 924 and we're here with part 21 of our Darkwood playthrough. Um last time on Darkwood, we finally took out the tree at the village. Um it was burning, it was on fire. And um we were told that we should come back basically tomorrow by ourselves and by a note, I believe. I can't recall. And then we basically explored a bunch more. We looked around. And then we came back home. And when we came home, um, for the night, rather, um, we were attacked by these people that I'm assuming was from the tree because they were all on fire and such. Um, today, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if this could be like near the end or what's going down but i'm gonna bring all my super important my super important item excuse me Bert. um and i assume we're not coming back that's my assumption i might be right i might be wrong so because i i'm assuming that i'm also bringing my pistol for the one uh remainder clip that i own and then we have whatever's left in this shotgun and then we have like 12 bullets with our uh rifle so now, we're going off back to the village to talk to the old man and tell him of our beautiful deeds. I also brought a full lantern of stuff with me as well. But I'm excited. Um, I, this might be the last episode, might not be. Um, I'm hoping it is, and I'm hoping it isn't at the same time because like this game has been real fun. But man, I'm really excited to get to some other playthroughs with you guys as well. Nonetheless, um, this game so far has been an absolute blast. And I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. A lot more eerie than I recall. Like, very much so. No. Ashes. What does this mean? It worked. Only ashes remain of the tree. I feel I'm approaching the end of my journey. Is it possible? Is it possible, guys? Could this possibly be the last episode w together of Darkwood? It might be. And that's sad if it is. But definitely um, cheerful as well. Look, there's a path that opened. But I was definitely right to assume that this may or may not be the end of our journey. So I'm glad I brought everything I think is super helpful for this, um, the end game, I guess. Um, brought bullets for what I could anyway, and and such. Do we not have a map? No. Is time stopped? Time is also stopped, so we can take our time here and other things. That was weird. Kind of like froze for a second. Ah, oh, it gave me an achievement. You guys can't see, but it gave me an achievement. Let's see here. Let us put our lantern on. Whoa. Hopefully you'll find some ammunition. This looks eerily like the beginning of the game. The music's really ramped up too. Let's take this back off. Look at all these footsteps, these footprints in the middle of the trail. There's definitely a lot of them. A colorless goo sips from the cracks of the asphalt. Let's go this way. Is that a man? There's a backpack here. Torches. The crossed out sign reads Darkwood. Interesting. Excuse me. I 
this is a crippled old man from the village. Dude, dude, I can help you. I can't, he, it won't let me interact with him. Dude, I can help. The road home. Could this be the end? Could it? to the end of the game and it just kind of drops off it's going to be a real short episode look at it all all these people they were all trying to escape wow look at all the people that didn't make it It's getting darker and darker. Wow. Look at all the bodies. That's what it is, they're bodies. I don't know if they're made out of ash or what. There's a truck up ahead. I mean, it is. Let's go down. Road sign. 25 kilometers to the nearest town. That's quite a ways. But as our journey is reaching, reaching its uh, conclusion, you guys, um, this, this game so far was definitely a treat. I was definitely happy to LP this. This is this game is what also inspired me to start doing YouTube in the first place. Because this game just seemed like a kind of game that it would be a good time just to do with you guys as well. And to have you guys also experience it with me. So I'm happy I'm doing it. And I'm, and I'm excited to do more playthroughs in the future. Just because of this this feeling of accomplishment that you and I were going through right now. Now what? Saving. Something's happening. Epilogue. Wow. This will this will be indeed the last episode. We will do this until it is completed, guys. I don't. I can't activate any of my things. I I have nothing in my inventory. I guess. I can't even like activate my inventory. So, yeah. So it also looks like if we die here, we die. But I don't know if we'll encounter anything um, of that ordeal. You know. Wow, the music's gorgeous. If you if you guys don't have your earbuds in, you definitely should. Oh wow, that looks cool. Yeah, and I can't check a map or anything. Okay. We're just kind of walking in one direction until something happens, I guess. What's this? 
What am I looking at? Houses? It looks like it. it. Looks like buildings and a road. We reached a civilization. What's going on over here? And they're gone. Who's going to eat the bread now? Are you okay, sir? Miss? Weird. Hopscotch, I never understood it. Why? You just, you just do it, man. There's a lady here. Neighbor. My first floor neighbor. Good day. And good day to you. Is it my house? We live nearby even. Wow. A mailbox. Mine is located opposite the basement stairs. This one? My mailbox. I think there's something inside. Postcard. A postcard from my parents. I'll read it later. And I guess we go to our apartment, wherever that is. This is my staircase, so I guess we go upstairs. And I guess our, our house, our apartment, is located up the staircase in whatever floor we're going to come across. I assume this one. Pleased to see you, mister. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a second, dude. It's, we've, uh, I've been trapped for 28, 29 days or so. An old rug. An old wardrobe. Apparently some, apparently someone was too lazy to bring it down the stairs and throw it in the trash. Interesting. You have a good day now. Yeah, you too, buddy. Scribbles. It's probably the work of the kids from the neighboring apartment block. Yeah, probably. This is eerie. Why is it eerie all of a sudden? This must be my house. Home sweet home. Locked, I need a key. I should change for it. My wardrobe. Ugh. It is my wardrobe. Let's take off my coat. Oh, frick. I've worn that coat for years, it feels like. And that hat. I'm barely standing on my feet. I'll take a bath tomorrow. Some note is lying on the table. I made you some soup, heat it up. <sighs> the old trusty gas stove. There's still some soup in the pot. Let's turn it on. The smell fills the entire kitchen. We'll cook. I grab the largest dish from the closet under the sink and pour myself a bowl. It's not much, but it's enough. I don't remember the last time I've eaten a home dinner. It's spaghetti or chicken. It looks like chicken noodle soup. Okay. I guess we ate it. Ah, 
Hi, Sazrek. I miss me. Man, Sazrek, I was almost I was gonna hurt you, but um uh, but you're my dog. Good boy. Good puppy. Yeah. I can't grab the fabric. That's so funny. Look at all the things I can loot. The black and white Reuben, a real luxury. Unfortunately, something. I couldn't read it. Very tired. Prefer to lie down in a regular bed. Is my key somewhere that I'm missing? Ah. My home. My bed. It's my bed. The white, crumpled sheets look as if I've just woken up. At last. I feel my sore legs buckling underneath me, my body becoming heavy and overwhelmingly lethargic. It was a grueling journey, a 28 days of human torment. Go to sleep. A sedating warmth washes over me, a warmth of security and happiness. Oh, 28 days, almost a month, being out in Darkwood. What a crazy time it's been. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Take it off my shoes? Yeah. You have a good night, guy. You deserve it. Yeah, you put that the sheets over you. Our guy here has went through ordeals that all of Darkwood couldn't overcome. The rustle of the woods stretching away to the horizon kept the stranger awake for a long time. So long. Eventually, fatigue washed over him and the man fell into a deep, much desired dream. Burning the tree opened the road home for many anguished inhabitants of the forest. Only three outcasts dressed in old rags and scrap lamented over his charred remains. The wolf finally satisfied his ever insatiable hunger after he finished a carefully gnawing on every single bone of what remained of the chicken lady's sister, he disappeared into his hideout. He supposedly spent the rest of his existence chasing his own tail. Wow. So that's what happened. That's what became of the chicken lady's sister. I didn't know that. We never really got to see what happened to her once um, she left, you know? The boy with the violin came back to the silo. He threw away his gramophone and his violin. He started to listen to the hum of the forest, which calmed him, which calmed his scattered thoughts. Piotrek rose above the treetops in his rocket made out of scrap. He smiled as, peeking through the small plastic window of his spaceship, he saw the Milky Way stars moving away at a huge speed. Of course, unfortunately, we saw what happened to his rocket at the junkyard in the swamp where it crashed and he fell with it. The strange inhabitant of the hut at the junkyard spent a long time on its roof, basking in the sun. But the voices coming from the inside did not give him peace, so he scrawled down the roof. So he crawled down the roof, and since his limbs went numb from lying on the hard tiles, he stumbled and fell face down in the mud. In the pool, he saw his reflection, a huge head of a snail. He then thought he never had such a strange dream before, and he wished he to wake up. I don't remember this person actually. I don't know why.
All right. Well, that was Darkwood, guys. Um, that's that's been a pretty long and good playthrough. Um, it's been 28 days into uh, Darkwood itself, and we saw a bunch of things along the way that uh, I wasn't expecting. We also came out of it. We got home, and that was pretty much it. I'm gonna let this play out, and then the rest of you guys have a good day. <laughs>